I hope all is well. Saha here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make delicious stuffed peppers. I like to choose my peppers uh, more roundy and the ones that stand up on their own. Uh, so you can uh, stuff them as much as possible. You can choose any colors that you like or the same color would work. Some parmesan to sprinkle on top. We need some cheese. Some leftover rice, any kind of rice you can make. Some corn. Frozen peas. One onion. Some ground beef. This one is mix of lamb and beef. Some chili peppers garlic cumin turmeric black pepper and finally some salt to taste beef has so much fat in it there's no need for oil we're just gonna cook it as it is on high heat Because the meat was fatty, I drained the extra liquid and the fat, uh, but you have choice to use lean meat. Now we're going to add the onion, and we're going to cook this until the onion is translucent. I'm adding garlic and the pepper, some turmeric, some black pepper, some cumin, some salt to taste, and cook this meat for about five minutes. And don't worry if it's not cooked throughout because we are going to bake this. We are going to add the rice as well and some of the cheese. So we mix this for about five minutes and we're done. So now I'm going to add the rice. You have options to use any kind of rice you have at home. So I'm just using this one. And also I'm going to add some cheese, not all of it. gonna mix them all together and we're ready to bake these. Yum! It looks amazing! Lots of colors in here. It smells absolutely amazing. Yum! It's so cheesy in here. <laughs> Our stuffing is ready and it looks really good. It's nice and cheesy. We're going to set this aside and we're going to move on to our peppers. We're going to get this ready and bake them for 30 minutes and we're ready. So we're going to chop these. We're going to take the head off and empty the inside. And make sure you have a nice knife. So once you take the head off, you're just gonna empty the inside. Very gentle. Once you have it empty and nicely done, so you're just gonna put it aside and continue doing the same to the rest. So the peppers are nice and ready and I'm just going to put this aside and I just want to chop these. We don't want to waste these. I will just chop it, keep it in the fridge for some good omelette. 
All right, so it's the fun part. We're gonna stuff them as much as we can. And for this, you need to choose the large ones. So if you like more stuffing, you're able to do that. So what you do, just press it down. And that's how you make more room. There we go. It is so tasty. I added some extra peppers. We like our food very spicy. So that's optional. Be sure to put your oven on at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake these for 30 minutes. So we have some leftovers here and it is so delicious. You can make some burritos out of this or you can just eat it as it is. So delicious. So we're just gonna put this aside and moving on to peppers. We're gonna cheese it up. So first, Parmigiano. Sprinkle that on top as much as you like. There we go. Once you have your uh, Parmesan on the peppers, you can uh, put the mix that you have. I have, par uh, I have cheddar cheese and mozzarella and uh, you can choose your own favorite cheese for this one. I love to go all out with the cheese because I adore cheese. And also for a little more flavors, you can add Italian seasoning if you like. Adding the Italian seasoning, as you can see, it's almost done because I love this spice. I'm using this for everything. Sprinkle. There we go. We're gonna bake these for 30 minutes. I'll be back. Yum! So guys, this is done and it looks absolutely very delicious. The cheese looks very bubbly and brown. The peppers looks very softened and I cannot wait to try these out. Mm. <laughs> There's a party in my mouth. It is so good, so good. If you guys all enjoyed this recipe, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. And if you make this uh, recipe, please be sure to tag me at Sahar's Life 1. Until next time, bye.